today we're going to Canada. Hope they'll let us in. You can actually see it from here. That's it. Those buildings over there is Canada. <laughs> so exciting. I, leave what's left of last night. I can't believe how excited I am. I'm walking there. I'm walking to Canada. There's the falls. Niagara Falls, in case I didn't mention that. I'm quite glad we didn't decide to drive. This is a queue to get back into the USA. We could have gone for a day trip and another day <laughs> waiting to get back in. But they let us back in. Our home's here. I'm in the United States. Bonjour from Canada. Howdy from the United States. Yeah, it's done. We've done that now. That was just so easy. We're in Canada. Just like that. We just walked through. The man looked at our passports. Yeah, go through. So we're just going to take a walk down to the falls. This is amazing. I just can't believe we've just walked into Canada. I've never been here before. It's my first time. So that's the American side over there. See that big tower? That's you go down a lift there and then board the boat to do the Maid of the Mist tour, which goes right under the falls. So the red boats down there are the Canadian ones and the blue ones are the US ones. Now I thought they're actually blue and red boats, but it's their raincoats that are giving them the color. And if you don't fancy doing a boat trip, you can do a zip line launch. That would be fun. Over there, we've got the American Falls. To the right is Bridal Veil Falls. And then further around to the right is the Horseshoe Falls, which is the largest of the three falls. That's now, amazing. the river that feeds them splits a bit further upstream and produces an island called Goat Island on the American side. We're getting closer. I'm sure they're quite spectacular, but you can't see because of all the spray. And if you get a chance to view the falls at night time, they're all lit up, different colours. vibe on the side of the falls just seems to be real buzz happening and uh, maybe it's just the, the roar of the falls I don't know what it is but it's making me excited maybe it's just from <laughs> Canada that I'm excited <laughs> so looking at that there looks like it's the sea out there like the ocean and it's just pouring over the edge and I'm just imagining if the world was flat that's what it would look like just the water pouring over the edge into oblivion as the water pounds over the falls slowly eroding the rocks underneath and the falls are slowly creeping backwards up river. 1678, that's where it was. 1764, the current around there. In a few hundred years' time, it'll be up here somewhere. Wow. Okay, that's the USA over there, and we walk across that bridge to get into Canada. If you don't want to come to Canada or you don't have your passports, looks like there's a fairly good view from Goat Island over there. Oh, oh wow. wow, this is wow, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All the water that's in the river goes over the falls. Some of it is diverted to a electricity generating station. Can't waste it, can you? Down below us here is the power station built into the cliffs on the side here, so it's not actually visible. So over the years, people have tried to go over the falls in different ways. Some in barrels, some just among themselves, I think. And I'm not sure whether anyone actually survived or not. Now, I think it's illegal. And further up river, there's a barrier to stop people coming down. So we went to Canada at the right time, there was no queue, we were the first ones, but now there's quite a big queue stretching out the door. Some things we time right, some things we don't. And now we're heading back to the USA. So it costs us a dollar to come back to the USA through the turnstiles. It costs us nothing to go to Canada, a dollar to come back. So that's a nice little one hour trip to Canada. We're back in the USA. Back, back in, in the, the USA. USA. So we're just in the Finger Lake regions in New York and we're going to go do a few waterfall trails. First one is the Tugnahawk Gorge and waterfall. How beautiful is this first thing in the morning? Absolutely gorgeous. He's a funny man. They've got 
peregrine falcons here. Apparently they fly at speeds of over 200 miles an hour. I'm not sure it's actually flying. They're oh. going to free fall dive. Oh, they don't actually flap their wings and fly that no, fast. No, they <laughs> flap their wings back and <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. They take thermals to get high. Where can we get some of that? And then they tuck their wings back and dive down on their prey. Looks like bits of slate. You split it down and split it down and split it down. But in there you can see there's different layers there. You can split that down again, make it thinner. So that's it, we're at the end of the trail and I think just around this corner is gonna be a big waterfall. There it is. Mike, let's do this thing. Oh wow. No together. Oh, oh wow. wow. And so I walk and I keep on walking. Though the shoes I wear are a man. As I walk, 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 and I keep on walking. So we're just at the buttermilk waterfalls. Doesn't that sound delicious? Do you want to make a fluffy cake today? Buttermilk is good for it. swimming hole at the bottom. We're certainly getting our steps in over the last few days. Hope you're not getting sick of waterfalls because we aren't. I'm actually enjoying this a lot more than the Watkins Glen walk, but it might have been just the sheer amount of people that put me off that walk. There's a perfectly round hole here. Looks weird. It almost looks man made. Just the most beautiful walk through here. Highly recommend it. So we're just doing the rim trail loop. We just come across a bridge which we had to walk on the road for a little bit, just, you know, just ever doing a loop trail, but you can carry on and do the bear trail. I don't know where that goes, but a lot of people are doing it. That's where we just were, down there on the other side. So it's $9 to park, but that covers all the state parks for the day. I thought it was gonna be $9 for each place, but thankfully it covers everything. Almost back at the car park. That was an excellent hike, well worth doing, very beautiful. The Buttermilk Falls, as delicious as it sounds. This is the first waterfall that we've been to that allows you to actually swim, but only when there's a lifeguard on duty. So now we're in the Robert H. Truman State Park. This will be our third walk for the day, and we're going to do the Gorge Trail. Look at all the woodpecker holes in that tree. I stuck my finger in the woodpecker hole and the woodpecker said, God bless my soul. You think we've done enough steps today, but nope, there's more. Yeah, we gave up on that other walk, it was too hard. It was just all through the bush and we weren't seeing anything gorgeous or beautiful. So this is the Upper Falls car park. Hardly anyone here because Google sends you to the other one. So just keep that in mind if you're coming to do this and you don't want to do the big walk. So we drove to the other end of the state park and we're doing the gorge walk. Lucifer Falls we're going to go look at through the gorge. Robert H. Tremman. Nobody's ever mentioned this park to us, but wow, it's awesome. The nights are as long as they are dark. I keep checking the time like it will make the tellers move faster. 
So Robert H. Treman, if you just want a short walk, but it's come to the Upper Falls. So Mike's got a tick on him in the Lyme disease area. I tried to remove it with some tweezers, but its head got stuck and I didn't do it right. So now we're having to go to the emergency room, which is what they recommend at the campground to do. And they'll have to get the head out because the head's stuck in it. They take it quite seriously here apparently because of all the diseases, especially Lyme disease. So it was pretty funny. We went to the emergency, well it wasn't the emergency room, it's a medical okay. centre. 20 minutes to get there, 20 minutes to log in and register. The nurse took all his blood pressure and all that sort of stuff. And then the doctor came in and looked at the tick head and it had gone. <laughs> it had fallen out. And she said even if the head wasn't there, they don't tend to do anything about it. But they only worry about it if it's been lodged there for more than 24 hours. So I don't think they even charged us. They just let us go. But that wasn't the last we'd be hearing from that tick. Join us on our upcoming adventures where we explore New York City by bike. So we're just in Times Square, New York. Rode our bikes in. How mad is that? Make some upgrades to our van and have another trip to urgent care.